Well, welcome back to my lair. Yep, that's right. I'm in the utility closet again. Why? Because I didn't feel like putting up the green screen, setting up all the lights to be perfect. But instead, I wanted to talk to you about what happened just a couple weeks before the end of the year. Yes, that's right. Graphisoft made good on their promise to deliver on the Apple Silicon version of ARCHICAD before the end of 2022. If you have an Apple-based Silicon Mac, should you upgrade? First things first, it was a long time coming. It was so overdue. The Apple Silicon version of ARCHICAD was supposed to come out a long time before, and Graphisoft took a really long time. In fact, Graphisoft's sister company, Vectorworks, also owned by the Nebechek Group, delivered their Apple, Apple Silicon version more than a year prior. So why has it taken Graphisoft so long? It's bewildering. Theoretically, this should be a huge improvement. Until now, if you're using an Apple Silicon-based Mac, then the processor has to take every x86 command and translate it into ARM and then back into x86 so that the software can function. Fortunately, Apple did such a great job of building their operating system and system on a chip processor and their Rosetta translation that it's, it's hardly noticeable that there's any delay at all. But there is a delay. So is the new Apple Silicon ARCHICAD version faster? Before answering, I do want to credit David Tomic. He's got a great YouTube channel talking about ARCHICAD and all things ARCHICAD, and his video from early November 2022 is in the description, the pre-release version of the Apple Silicon version. Now, this was not the official release, but it was public. It was available to everyone. I tried that version out too, but I held off on making a video largely because, honestly, I've been having so much fun skiing. It's been a lot of snow here in Utah. I've also been extremely busy with work, so between skiing and work, I just did not have time to actually make a video. I've had the official version of ARCHICAD for a couple weeks now. I've been working with it pretty hard. It's been fantastic, especially once the CI tools came out for Apple Silicon, which has really helped because I love their coverings tool. Their coverings tool is fantastic. I also love their doors and windows tool because there's certain things that just those make it so much easier so here are my test results using my m1 max macbook pro okay first we're going to talk about opening a large apartment building.pln file now this .pln file is a version 25 file and we're going to open it up in both archicad 26 intel version and also the ARCHICAD 26 Apple Silicon version. Both of these I'm doing on the M1 Max MacBook Pro. So on the Intel version, it is having to convert it. So theoretically, we should be seeing a little bit of a lag comparatively, but it is the same exact file, same exact processor. So let's go. Now for this test, this was a conclusive win. Apple Silicon, kick the pants off of the Intel version. This isn't too surprising. Um, the file opened and converted to the new version roughly 40% faster. Clear win for the Apple Silicon version. The next test is in the 3D view, opening that up and flying around. Here we go. Now, as you can see here, we're going through the Intel-based version. This is a fly-through. It seems relatively smooth. It's, there's a few frames that are dropping. It's not too bad. Now let's try the Apple Silicon version. Now here we are flying through the same model, but with Apple Silicon. It seems like it's ever so slightly smoother, but it's hardly noticeable difference. Our next test is gonna be opening a layout with building elevations and also a couple 3D views. Now, both all four of the views on this layout are set to auto update. So as we open up each of these, you can see side by side how these are opening up. And yeah, right there, Apple Silicon, 40% faster again. It does seem like that's the tendency. It seems like anything 
processor base that runs through translation, it seems that Apple Silicon is going to be about 40% faster than the Intel version. Okay, our next test is in 3D. We're going to move a window and then see how quickly it's able to update that and also the CI coverings tool, which has a lapboard siding on there and also the, the head and jam uh, coverings. As you can see, very subtle. It, it's hardly a difference. This is one of those tests that proves that Apple did such a great job with their translation that on most of the time, you're not even gonna notice the difference. But there is a difference and it is slightly better. Okay, our final test is rendering in the 3D view. Now, for this, I am trying this out on both the Intel version and the Apple Silicon version, both in normal and in Redshift. Now, the results here are just simply heartbreaking, and just like David Tomic found in his video, I was shocked that it was significantly faster on the Intel version. I don't know why this is. Maybe maybe Graphisoft just hasn't worked out all the, the, the bugs with the Apple Silicon uh, version. Maybe for some reason the instruction sets have to be more cumbersome in the Apple Silicon version. For whatever reason, Intel wins it. And these are both in the normal one, the normal rendering engine. Now, if we shift to the ref Redshift render, Honestly, this was unusable for me. I I had to stop it because this model is so big and for some reason on both the Intel and the Apple Silicon version, the screen stayed black for over 30 minutes on each of them. And, it, and at a certain point, I just thought, you know what, this is wasting my time. All right, here are my conclusions. Now, since the release of the Apple Silicon version of ArchiCAD a couple weeks ago, I've been using it heavily in all my workflows, especially now that CI Tools is now Apple Silicon native as well. My overall impression is that it works, it works well, and it is significantly less buggy than the Intel version. Why I'm saying that is because in the Intel version through the Rosetta, Rosetta translation, there are a lot of hiccups. Now, both Apple Silicon and the Intel versions of ArchiCAD 26 work seamlessly with BEMCloud. Now, I was very pleased because I use BEMCloud a lot, uh, largely because I'm on both my MacBook and also a Windows PC. And switching in between these two, there's always these goofy file relative, you know, relative file extension uh, connections for anything local. So what I find is really helpful, even if you're a sole practitioner, is setting up that BIM cloud allows you to have a single place for all your libraries and your, um, and your project files. And you don't have to worry about the translation or the synchronization of a file server back and forth between your Windows and, and Mac. But in this case, works perfectly. Very happy about that. Now, opening files. Obviously, this was a clear win for Apple Silicon. I, yeah, I, I can't tell you how important it is to shave off those extra seconds because when you're working, you know, eight hours a day, let's say, and if half of those hours are spent just waiting for your computer to churn and process, that's a lot of billable time that you could be getting more stuff done. Plus, if, if you can get more stuff done, then even if you're not billing hourly, you're still getting more stuff done which means any of your fixed fees or your lump sum fees or even your percentage of cost of construction fee projects are going to be that much more profitable. So having a faster ArchiCAD is legitimately a game changer for you as an architect. Now, as I mentioned, the most pointless of these tests turned out to be the rendering tests. Now, I don't know about you, but I never do renderings on ArchiCAD. I know how to do them. I use them for some of these videos, but honestly, they are trash compared to using other rendering software like Twinmotion or Lumion. Both of them are so much easier to render in, so much easier to create compelling, interesting, and 
high quality images that it makes the long time that you're waiting for any Archicad rendering just worthless. This isn't to say that you should never use it, but it is important to remember that this is not a very important tool. However, the other thing that I noted, if you're going to use renderings in Archicad, you're not really getting a benefit from Apple Silicon. And in fact, just like I do with all my renderings, even on twin motion, <laughs> frankly, I use it on my Windows PC with an with an NVIDIA RTX 3060 graphics card, not the built-in GPU on my MacBook. Now, this isn't to say that the built-in GPU on the MacBook isn't great. It's just most of the rendering engines are designed for NVIDIA GPUs. It's just the simple fact of it. And until the software developers who create the rendering engines start recognizing that there is another option there, that there is a viable option with as many people as have Macs, it's just not gonna be worth it. So if you're doing renderings, you have to have a Windows PC if you wanna actually do high quality renderings in a reasonable amount of time. So that's why it is completely useless to even worry about trying to render on your Mac you can do it. You're just not going to be happy doing it. Now, ultimately, if you have already purchased an Apple Silicon based Mac, I highly recommend you switch to the Apple Silicon version of our Archicad as soon as possible. The reason for this is clear. It's just so much faster, more efficient for you, and it's going to be more stable for you. Now, if you're on an Intel based machine or an AMD processor with Windows, obviously, this isn't an issue for you, but if you're on an Apple Silicon Mac, definitely switch over. Hopefully this has been helpful. And thank you so much to all of you who like and subscribe to my videos. I don't do this for money and all the positive feedback I get from you really helps make this hobby of making YouTube videos more worthwhile. As in, knowing that people are finding this content helpful, that's the reward that makes this worth doing. So thank you again and happy new year. Hopefully I'll be a lot better about making videos. Of course, <laughs> also hopefully my business is going to be very busy and uh, I'll be, it'll be a little bit of a strain to do so. And hopefully for you, your business will also do well. Hopefully your architectural practice will just be fantastic and you're going to make tons of money. And with that, I'm the colorblind architect. Peace out. Thank you.